Welcome, everybody. Today, we lead off on a journey to save one Rika Farude in maybe the best game that has ever been made, Rika Farude Simulator 24. Look at the about here. Never-ending June of 1983. A tragedy that repeats itself violently over and over. One girl's resolve slowly deteriorates as she travels in fragments, looking for one world where she can finally break free and find her future. One world where she rolls all sixes. It's now your turn to embark on this never-ending journey with her. Credits. All sprites, music, and backgrounds by 7th Expansion. Created by Polly. Socks make people sexy.h.io. Beta tested by Rhett. Inconsequentialexistence.com. So we've already had 1,500 fates. I don't know where this came from. This is the first time I've ever played this game. Uh, but I do know that there is no tricks. It is just a game of chance. Here's our protagonist, Rika, here. Let's go today, Rika. If it hits six sixes on the first roll. Okay, that would have been the most amazing thing in the history of anything. Um, but here's Rika. As you can see, she she takes a little blood nap about every eight seconds on her uh, course to try to get them six sixes. I will say, the odds of this are somewhere in the 40,000 plus. However, we have a record winner of this game I've never played before. Uh, there was one certified banging win at 8,000 plus fates. But we have a PB of Rika saving... As Rika got saved in just 2,160 fates. That's pretty incredible. Let's see if we can get Rika before that. Now, if you've been around my stream a long time, you may remember one Final Fantasy grind that ended up... You know, there, there's a special item that you need called the Pink Tail. And then you turn the pink tail into the best armor in the game. My odds to get that were low. However, it took me well over the low amount of hours to get it. it t I probably doubled the hours I played that game trying to find that pink tail. I think I spent four to five consecutive streams in one room just grinding that fucking pink tail. So, way I see it, either we're in for Rika Ferude Sim for the next five years, or this will be the one and only episode of the Daily Nipa. By the way, the title of this brilliantly goes to one Polly Plushy in chat right there. She has also designed this game. What's going on, Polly? And what's going on, X Gemini? The beautiful, the lovely, the only plushy in the streets. I, I my brain kind of just fell off there at the end. I had an idea, and it, it just it just died in the frontal lobe. It's gone. Uh, but, uh, but we're looking to try to get six sixes here, and as you can see, um, it's a quick game, you got your roll, you got Rika, who very, very cutely says, Nipa! Uh, and I say that to the best of my abilities, um... But unfortunately, every time she doesn't get the six sixes, uh, like a fly swatter hits her and she just like splatters all over the place. Oh, the cannon in my head is like there's just a giant fucking fly swatter that comes by and just smacks her whenever she's at. I've never seen the anime. 
Uh, I'll be fully honest. Uh, on this quest, if we do manage to get six sixes, which we will at some point, uh, I, I I will go on a journey uh, and watch the anime. <laughs> uh, and I figure getting into the anime this way is perfect because we can save Rika and then we can watch Rika. No spoilers. Uh, to see if she gets saved in the show or not. Or if it transitions perfectly into this game, <clears throat> which is also my headcanon. Much similarly to... Oh, I don't want to spoil that either. Uh, so a good ending to another show. Um, ties right into some other stuff. Yeah, a cute and wholesome show about small town life. That's, you know, I feel like that's that's a perfect synopsis for this show. <clears throat> oh yeah, yo. Nipa. I'll turn it up a little bit. And then up and on up. But the odds are in our favor. Uh, because we can click, uh, we can click, click, and continue to do this, as long as we just feel absolutely nothing for killing this poor, unfortunate girl over and 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 over again. But that's okay. Because look, she's fine. Oh no, but look, she's fine. <laughs> oh. You'll also notice in the background of the Daily Nipa today that UFO 50 is going to be being played. We're going to continue uh, cherrying and golding as many cards in that. It's so much fun. I, UFO 50 has genuinely been such... A breath of retro fresh air if I'm being honest I think a lot of people place way too much into a single game and expect it to like a single retro styled game I think the genius of this is that they took a bunch of small retro style games and put them together so it didn't have to be so I guess single focused like there's some you can beat in under five minutes very easily once you get to know them. Um, but they're just small little collections of games. They all have nice touches and controls and thought put into them. And uh, and it really is just such a, a neat little package of its own gaming system. I love Barbuda. I'm not going to lie, I really love Barbuda. <laughs> Once, once I figured it out, once, like, Polly was saying, ooh, there's a 3-6, all right, we're getting there. Um, once you figure out how to jump into that slime, and once you figure out how to get the key, like, it feels so good. It gives you that retro feel of when you figured something out. And it just feels... It, it's... So well designed in that way. Yeah, there are th three. Wow, I don't. I only found two, honestly. I know you can get into the backside with the hammer, and I know you can get the key. Um, I, I never found a third way. That's awesome. <laughs> um. Get into the backside with a hammer, oh baby! Whew. Gotta unlock that backside, hammering it. Hey, what's up, Doom White? <laughs> do, 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 do. <laughs> oh, 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 baby! Oh, oh, baby, baby! Nipa. 
Uh, this game, by the way, for the daily Nipa lovers out there, which is going to literally be everybody, is available to download at SocksMakePeopleSexy.itch.io, I want to say, is the location for all the games. Um, but specifically, this is Rika Furude Simulator 24. I'm sure you've heard of it before. And, uh, but it's free to download. And you too can go on a journey to help Rika reclaim well actually just claim a future for herself mm-hmm mm -hmm. hold on I need to add a second thing to this where's the the uh, um, text 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 okay here we go um Socks make people sexy dot... That's not quite right. Dot itch dot io. There we go. A meteor wave. That's a little big. And mm -hmm. a little hard to see. All right, there we go. Let's get that right up there. There we go. <laughs> I'm doing well. How about yourself? I wonder if Rika would like Zero Ranger. I don't know if Rika's a shmupper, but for much, for as much of a trooper as she is, I can see it. You need some determination to be a shmupper. Um, in 3-2, you kick ass at that uh, Zero Ranger game. I have tried it a couple times. I do appreciate you gifting it, although uh, that while ago. I remember that. It's a fun game. When I get into a shmuppage kind of brain again, I will be taking that. There's another triple six. <laughs> I made a game and it's going to be in Steam next. Oh, nice! What game? If you don't mind me asking. I don't know if you have any chance or if you want to like save it or anything. That's awesome. <clears throat> Fun on a basic level. Oh, three sixes again. Come on, Rika. Out with it. Telly the TV, and it was inspired by Little Nemo. Okay. And Mega Man. That's a good combo of games. <laughs> That's a good combo of games. <clears throat> you got the uh, animal skinning of Little Nemo, and you got the powers of Mega Man. So, with that combination, I could see some fun stuff happening. Uh -huh. Delving, but my attention span is just wrecked. It's hard, 3-2. It wasn't until I got on medication that my, my attention actually started to focus up quite a bit more. I think I need to be locked in an actual classroom. Uh, the opposite for me. I could... I would... I might honestly have a panic attack slash meltdown if I was had to be locked into a school at this point. I hated school by the time I was in high school. The show is com uh, complicated, but mostly you have to collect keys to escape the level. It has good simple combat. Hey, I mean, it's a launching point, right? Nobody's first game is going to be amazing. I think the best advice I heard about that is like, um, just do it. Just fucking do it. And then, no, you know, and learn from it. Um, and I'm not saying this is your first game or this won't be great. I'm just simply saying, like, the reality is, is you got to get the hours of work and, uh, and practice and game dev skill uh, to kind of learn how to warp the games you want into the way you want as best as you can 
And I full-on believe that you have that ability, and I'm excited to see how this game does for you. Um, it's it's tough. I, I As much as I absolutely adore games, I could never be a game dev, I don't think. My brain just doesn't have it in it. But I will play test, play, enjoy, and... Uh, ooh, there was four sixes where you rolled that. Uh, till the end of time. I'm happy to hear that, Meteor Wave. Just keep at it, and you're gonna do just fine. Uh, that's something really soul and simple. I suppose there's truth to that. Uh, I think it's more that my brain has a hard time focusing on the act of it. Um, since my brain kind of needs almost instant gratification in some gaming cases, not... Instant, like the, I need to play something to get that focus, basically, which is probably why streaming works out so well. Um, and what you don't write, yep, that's exactly it. Oh, what the fuck was that, Rika? I'm gonna let you hold that L for a second. What is that? Um. Uh, but no matter what, just don't quit. Take breaks. Make sure you're mentally healthy. But if it's something you actually want to do, get into, or if it, even if it's something just fun on the side, just keep at it. Nothing is... Yeah. Like, nothing needs to be done in a day... Games take time. Uh, you need creative juices to go, you know, maybe something inspires you. Um, maybe you see something in another game that you think could come into yours and be a really cool inspiration at that point, and then you'll do, like, 50% of your work or something at that point. You know, it's just one day at a time kind of thing. And that's all we can really do as a people. Um... So, like, like, I mean, ideas from other games can be inspiring and fun. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think there's, I think the biggest issue is a lot of, I guess, Western society. I can't really explain for the world. We've been pushed so hard here for instant, uh, like, it has to be good coming out the gate. And you have to have your best day ever tomorrow, or you're a failure. Like, that mindset has ruined so many people. Take your time. Do it how you want to do it. Enjoy the experience. And I guarantee other people will enjoy it too. I'll send you a key on Steam. Oh, thank you, Meteor Wave. <laughs> I guarantee people will come and play it and enjoy it. Yeah, absolutely. Keep it up. Uh, 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 uh. Mindset is everything. And the realization of how much our mindset was manipulated for a long time really does make me curious. Um, about how much the current Western mindset kind of warped everybody's brains into something terrible. Yeah, yeah, see, release day seemed like it'd be really neat. Because I remember, Paul, you releasing your game. I was super excited about it. I played it on stream uh, for a couple of days. I really liked it. Um, and then... In toad fashion, my brain completely forgets things exist, and I move on and do other things in my life, because if it's not in my face, I'll forget it. Um, but when I went back and played all those games on September 19th, the special day that it is, Polly's birthday, ooh, three sixes, I, I remembered how much I fucking enjoyed all those games. I love point attack games, I love simple games that ramp up in difficulty. 
And I ran into this game, which might be the best game of all time. I'm not certain. This is up there with, like, Final Fantasy VII for all-time greatest games, uh, Metal Gear Solid. Uh, what are some other games that are considered the best of all time? Like, maybe Skyrim in theory, although I don't think it's one of the best games ever. But it's just so popular that it's kind of one I throw out there. Um, TSB, one of the best games of all time. Tecmo Super Bowl. Um, Chrono Trigger, yeah, Chrono Trigger. I'd say this is probably one step above Chrono Trigger, but yeah. Um... Speed Power Gun Bike, that's a good choice, 3-2. Very good game. Very, very good game. Um... So, yeah, this is, uh... Like I said, the Daily Nipa is gonna be great. Mm-hmm. Yeah, if you want to download any of Polly's games, the link is in the... Rika, what the fuck are you doing to me? The dick is right up here. <clears throat> nice. Uh, I don't think so, but I think Polly, uh... I was talking about adding something out. Oh yeah, you're talking about it just deleting off your hard drive or some shit if it fucking got all ones, which I'm all for, by the way. I think that's hilarious. <laughs> it just fucking deletes itself off your hard drive if you roll all ones. Oh my god. <sighs> That is so funny. Yep, up if you want to uninstall! <laughs> <coughs> With the little sad Rika face. <laughs> oh, there's three sixes. We're going back up. All right, Rika. Saddest Rika, yeah. They're great. There's a lot of good ones. I would say the most, like, challenging score attack one would be ASDF2 or ASDF. Um, both really good in their own regard. ASDF's a little simpler than ASDF2. Ooh, four sixes. Okay. We're getting there. Mm-hmm. Rika Frude Fidget, Fidget Spin Simulator 24. Favorite things in Zero Rangers if you die, quit against the boss, it plays relaxing music when you go back to the title. That's great. Another triple one. And most refined games. A Luigi floating over. <clears throat> Sorry, it is Luigi floating on an egg over the sea on his way to the corner store to pick up an ounce and a 40 on his way home to play games with Mario under their kota ko Kotatsu. Is that what it's called? Um, that is the full name of that game. And uh, Synchronize is so much fun. Synchronize is the biggest brain one that Polly has made. That one's tough. Yeah, they do. They actually sound pretty warm, but I get what you're saying there, 3 2. Um, in the winter time, they would be great. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, yes, this should be an app. Make this an app, Polly. I will purchase this for $60 in the App Store. <laughs> it's honestly a fun game. The Luigi floating on an egg over the sea. A little table with a blanket and heater and a bowl of oranges for some reason. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
The app that you can shake your phone to roll the dice. And every time she explodes, it vibrates your phone. <clears throat> oh, triple sixes again. Come on. Oh. Almost a straight. <laughs> nice. We'll check how many fates we've been on here in a second. Ugh. Oh, wow. We have been flying through fates today, haven't we? I think we're going to get up to 1,800 fates, and then we're going to do at least 200 fates a day. Mm -hmm. Rika Furude would like permission to access location calls, messages, advice, history, Mac address, medical records, <laughs> social security number. Yeah, I mean, even if she uh, wants to tell anybody, I don't think she's going to be around long to tell anybody. Just roll the dice. Does your Discord link still work? Whose Discord link are you referring to, Meteor Wave? Um. Oh, yeah, it still works. I'm still in there. It's it's uh. It's kind of came into a food server slash just chit chat server. And since my Discord account never got returned to me, because Discord has amazing service, um, I kind of just use my alt in there now. Uh, Alright, Lithander32, thank you so much for being here. I uh, appreciate that. Take care. Happy Nipas to you. Nipa. <laughs> Gotta get to work and twerk in that poly. Later, poly. Da, 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 da. Two, two, one, one, five, five. That's a pretty interesting roll there. Three doubles. Huh. Oh, your page worked, but your link under your video stream didn't? Huh. Well, no, why not? Oh, come on, Rika, we need you. Yeah, sorry about that. I don't know why the one's not working under there. Um, honestly, I need to completely redo the under part of my stream. I don't think I've edited it in years. Um, uh, I would like to actually, uh, you know, edit it to be a little bit more uh, up to date, I should say. A little snick. Oh yeah, that's uh, that shout outs to Cooler SK who made that. It's a super adorable little comfy emote. I actually wanted to add that to my emotes. I forgot to, and now I don't think I actually <laughs> have the emote anymore. Uh, because my old hard drive died. Um, but I could probably just uh, ask Cooler if uh, if I could use it. Cooler is really nice. They've made a lot of art for my channel over the years and have never really asked for anything. Um, 
So I like to help Cooler out whenever I can. They're so generous. Um, and they're good artists. And you can commission them too. They also made uh, art for a new game uh, that came out on Steam as well not that long ago called Eye of the Commando. It's a really good game. Uh, it's still an early release, but um, it's like dungeon, not dungeon scrolling. It's like turn-based Contra. It's really interesting. I like it a lot. And Cooler did a ton of artwork for that as well. Do, 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 a triple five, stay alive. Oh, triple sixes, getting closer, misses. Yeah, I have the commando. is a It's a fantastic premise idea. I think it's executed very well. Um... So, if you're looking for an awesome, fun, inexpensive Steam retro style title, Eye of the Commando is awesome. Two weeks later and there was new stuff in it already. Yeah, I, I want to say there's probably new stuff in it now, too. And, like, I'm going to get back to it and play it one of these days. Um, but I did want to start the Daily Nipa. Uh, because... We've been doing uh, Rika Frude. I mean, this is my first time playing this, but we have been doing this on stream since September 19th, uh, when I re-downloaded all of Polly's amazing games and have been going and went through them. Um, bam. And uh, and we're on a journey to save Rika. I beat it yesterday, wanted to improve my time. Yeah, Kr Kraken is the one who beat it in just over 2,000 attempts, which is fucking wild. Uh, again, if you were here for the odds segment at the beginning of the Daily Nipa, um, there have been two... Screenshotted winners, one at 8,000 plus, and then Kraken at 2,160. Um, so we're going to see if we can beat that, which we won't, but then we'll see how far it'll take us to get it. I have the commander. I love pixel art with that perspective. It is really good. Really fun game. Really neat ideas. Meshing that kind of style together. Five classes to choose from in the beginning, which I'm sure there's going to be more. I'm sure there's going to be more weapons and items. Um, but I do want to try to get the uh, get it out there for people to uh, to check it out themselves. I think it'll uh, be at work by three. Oh, <laughs> see you later, Meteor Wave. Thanks for stopping by. I appreciate that too. It's funny too, parody of old action tro yeah, absolutely. Link of my Steam page is in my profile. Awesome, well, lady your meteor wave and good luck on your Devon. Do 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 mm -hmm. Bro Force vibes, yeah, definitely. Bro force where it's just like silly over the top. Uh, action masculinity stuff. It's great. Mm. Mm. Oh, I saw four sixes roll up there. We've been actually on a pretty big six drought. Like, the first day we rolled this, we got tons of four sixes. And then the first day we, uh, we did this again, we got even more sixes. But then the first day... Uh, yesterday, we ended up not getting, like, any 4-6s. So, first day today that we're playing this game for the first time, um, there's just no 6s coming up, Rika. You gotta put a little effort in them die rolls. Or maybe that's me rolling the dice anyways. Maybe I gotta put in the effort. Sorry, Rika, I should have never doubted you. 
Wow, that was almost one, two, three, four, five, six. That'd have been cool. <laughs> What's up, Steel Eyes? <laughs> I'm going to actually upload this onto YouTube today, like right after I'm done with this. It'll probably come out, uh, probably aim for like 8 uh, p.m. Eastern. I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll set it to come out at 5 p.m. my time. I am doing well. Thank you, Steel Eyes. God, we're going so fast. We're almost out of fates already today. We can do it, Rika. We can do it. Uh, but after this, we will be doing UFO 50 as well, so stay tuned for that. I'll also be uploading on YouTube, of course. This is the fresh file save that we were working on two days ago. Um, we were just doing like one game at a time, and we cherried four of them and beat six of them. I do want to go back and cherry mortal today. Uh... That game is really fun. Um... Ooh, there were some high rolls. And uh, Velgress, we already cherried. Um... We could try Bug Hunt again, uh, but Magic Garden is definitely one I want to try to get a time, and I have not finished yet. But there's just been so many good games in it that it, it's hard to just dedicate on one sometimes, because they're just so fun and so many. Like, they literally made a gaming system with cartridges in 2024. A retro-style gaming system with cartridges. All set into one neat little Steam package. <laughs> Where is Cooler's ass at? He would be here barking about Eye of the Commando. See? <laughs> daily ni ipa, daily ni ipa, daily ni i i i ipa. Oh, Ooh, full house again. That's the same style of full house. Feels weird. Um. Monrika. Ugh. I just need a six, a six, a six, a six, a six, and a six. Fuck. I tried. We were so close and yet so far. Alright, we have 42 fates here left to do on the daily Nipa. Uh, if we don't manage to get the uh, Rika Furude miracle today, we'll try tomorrow. And if we don't get it tomorrow, we'll try tomorrow. Because this is a pretty cool game I'd like to try in the future. I've never played it before. Oh yeah, the this is uh, the Daily Nipa. This is a new, uh, a new little small segment where we help Rika get the miracles she so rightly deserves. Um, we're going to do about 200 fates a day. The first one we're going to do 300 though. We're almost out as you can see. I'm getting up to 1800 so we can do an even 200 fates from here on out. Alright Rika. Come on Rika. I'm actually curious how long this, uh, that's gonna be 40 minutes. That's not bad. I thought this was only gonna be like a 10 minute endeavor, but, uh, but Daily Nipa's got some, got some chonk to it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Oh, 
All right, Rika, we can do this. Oh, there's three sixes. Okay. Keep pushing it up. More sixes, less ones. Do, 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 do. Ooh, four sixes, and that adds up to six, so that's basically five sixes. That's our best roll in a while there. Holy moly, it's been a little bit since we had this kind of a, a sweet roll. Do. All right. What did we add? 1774. Columbus sailed the ocean floor. No, wait, that's not it. Um, in 1496, so Columbus sailed the ocean sticks. Nope, that's not it either. Yo, look at that roll. That is very unique. Two, one, two, one, two, one, or one, two, one, two, one, two. Um. Quad fives? No, 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 no. Six, six. Sex tuple. <laughs> oh, I saw them four sixes before the last roll there. Wasn't quite enough, but I feel like we're starting to, to ramp up our six game here a little bit towards the final fates of the day. <clears throat> uh, how many more do we have? 18? All right. Come on, Rika. Come on, come on, come on. Fuck. We need a Nipa counter. I guess the... The Fates counter is the Nipa counter. <laughs> oh. <clears throat> All right, we have 14 Fates left. Uh, Rika, we can do this. We can do a sub 2000 Fate. Think of the publicity, Rika. You could get so many people saving you if we get it at under 2,000. <gasps> Yo, that was so fucking close. Holy shit. Holy shit. <sighs> Holy shit. That's so close! Oh my god! <laughs> that is so close! Oh god dang! Oh, that's our best. That's definitely our, our highest roll. We've never had a 5-6 a before like that. Alright, 11 more fades. Holy shit. Point zero zero one two percent. Yeah, that sounds about right. Oh man, that was real close. Like I said, we either get it early or stay tuned. We're going to be in for a long ride of the Daily Nipa. That is why it is the Daily Nipa, after all. Four more fates. Come on, Rika. Oh, damn. That is such a close roll. Oof. All right. Okay, yeah, that seems a little bit more on point. All right, last fate of the day. 
Come on, come on, come on. Nipa. Three sixer to end. It isn't bad though. And plus, we got our first five sixer in here. Jeez. The five sixer with a three is 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 our best. That's our PB. We've had several fours, um, like four or five or six fours, but only one five so far. That was our first Yahtzee. Um, but thank you everybody for watching the Daily Nipa. We'll be back tomorrow to save Rika ultimately from this unfortunate fate of June 1983. Until then, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. And have a wonderful night.